everyone, I'm Amy Lou and I'm going to show you today how to do a bee and I'm going to do it so I can create splodges so it has an effect where it's almost like it's exploding but in a really good way. I wanted to show you a couple of my frogs. I'm, draw I'm painting frogs, I love it frogs! There's my little frog there and as you can see I've kind of done the drip effect, love that effect, and this one creating a background that's got almost like a watercolour effect and then this one is my favourite and this is really popular this one um, I've done the yellow effect of splodges now it's like drips are going down but I'm going to create something that comes out when we do the bee so we're going to use we're going to need a straw ideally a paper straw doesn't really matter as long as you've got a straw in the house I haven't got a straw, so I've taken apart a biro, which isn't the best thing to do, um, but I haven't got a straw. So I've taken apart an old biro, and there's no bits attached, and I can just blow through it, so that's cool. <clears throat> and all you need is some watery paint, two colours that you love, or maybe like three, um, and that can be watercolour paint. As long as it's in a, a sort of squishy form, like this is my palette, very messy, and I've got yellow and blue. And it's going to be acrylic, watered down acrylic paint. So you can use just any poster paint watered down, as long as it's all watery. So all you're going to need is, we're going to need a piece of paper, pencil. I'm going to use my new chalks. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Like I went a bit mad and I went out. I love getting new things. Like this is what I bought. I buy them all for the kids classes that I do and the adult classes. Check this out. Like, I just thought, oh, it's so cool when you see them like that. It just, it just pleases me. So I wanted to also let you know that I didn't even realise that in my book that I sell on Amazon, I, um, I've actually done a bee. And I thought, oh, I totally forgot. So you can colour in a bee on this picture that I drew. But you can also learn how to do the bee. But not just the bee, you can learn how to do the ladybird, if you can see. You can learn how to do fruit, <clears throat> and there's the bee, and you can learn to do the scorpion. The scorpion's quite cool as well. So, yeah, if you want the book, you can just go to Amazon and type in Fine Art Projects. <clears throat> right, so let's go. <clears throat> okay, let's go before, before I choke. Okay, so what you're going to need is your big piece of paper. Let's go. So we're, we're going to start off with like a cookie. A nice big, I'm trying to get away from talking about food, but <clears throat> I don't think I can. So you're going to need a round cookie, <clears throat> pizza, whatever you decide to call it. And then you want to just almost like halve it. <clears throat> and then you're going to go find the half. It's not halve it, but you know, cut it. And then you're going to find half of that shape. So roughly there. It's really good with art to just use your eyes. Don't use a ruler or anything, there's no need. So you're just gonna go, you're just gonna go down and then a bit like curtains. So and then like that. Then you're going to touch this bit here of the donut. Let's call it a donut. And you're gonna go round. Doesn't matter if it's not completely round, it's completely fine. And then you're gonna do this end bit. The end bit's always a little bit tricky. So you're going to just touch this bit there and go It's got to look like a bit of an easter egg but not. Do not worry if it looks bobbly, it's all good. Okay, now because bees, um, I don't know what it is but I can't stop seeing bees. I'm seeing bees everywhere and I love bees. They're really, really lovely and they're an awesome symbol of um, spring. So we're just going to get your pencil and you're just going to go if you wanted to, you could create a fluffy line, so you could just go instead. But I don't, I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. And then you're gonna go, just create a little head. So you're gonna give them a little bit of a head. Now you need the antennae, the antennae. So this is quite small, and just do it going out, but do it quite thin. There's no need to do it chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Like that. Quite pointy at the end, it's quite cool. And then we're going to do a leg, like a legs. <laughs> we're going to do a leg and then replicate that, so we're going to repeat it. 
So you're going to do one leg comes out here. What you can do is just do this. So think about my arm. I've got one, two, and obviously the hand. So you want to do one, two, leave the hand, it doesn't matter. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it doesn't actually matter that much where they go, but I like to put them, those two are on the cookie. Probably does matter where they go. I'm sure the bee would disagree, but um, then on that little bit there, two there, and then on a half an Easter egg, two there. So then we're going to create the legs. This is kind of like my favourite part. So we're going to do at the end like baby triangles. They don't actually look like baby triangles, they kind of look like this. But you can do the triangles. I quite like them. Does that make any sense? Yeah, so there's the foot. Anyway. It's like they're suction pads, but not. And then each one, I'm going to do a chunky monkey. I don't know why I'm saying monkey every five minutes. And then it goes thinner. So chunky goes thinner. Chunky goes thinner. Chunky goes thinner. They normally carry the pollens, the pollen on their legs, which is quite cool, isn't it? And then it's a shame, really, because a lot of people are killing weeds and that's what they live off. They live off lovely yellow dandelions so I'm trying my hardest to keep the dandelions alive in my area. Okay so there's your bee, there is the bee and then we're going to do the wing. So the wing can come out from here and just go, it doesn't matter if it's not straight, it's better if it's not straight. And then oh, you kind of want it symmetrical, symmetrical so same with those sides. And then rounded, rounded, and then if you want, you can do this. You can just go up, and then if you don't know what I just did, it's and then to be honest with you, any way you want a wing is fine. This should go a little bit more in, but you can correct it as you go along, to be honest. Um, that one can probably go a little bit in as well, so we'll just correct as we go along. Okay, so then to create the wing effect, you want to just get your pencil and just lightly think about veins. You know like veins in your wrist? Think about the thin, very light veins because that always creates a beautiful effect if you do it. If you do it well. Okay, so that's roughly our bee, okay? That's roughly the bee. We can obviously fiddle around with it. You can make the wings more how you want it. Um, so we're going to get our pastels now, and you're going to want black and yellow. Just trying to check my microphone. I'm hoping it's working because that would just be hideous. Really. Okay, so we're going to get. I'm going to get my beautiful. Honestly, I'm just so happy about this. Just looking at them makes me think. So I'm going to get. I mean, I've got quite a few yellows, so you may not only have one. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get like two yellows, just because I can. So I'm gonna get a yellow and an orange, but you don't need it, you just need a yellow. And I'm gonna get a black, which I think's this, to be honest, because some of them are blue. I'm gonna get a black, and I need a light blue, but I really like this one. So I'm gonna get this one. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, honestly, I don't know what's better, food or, ah, food or pastels. Okay. Right, first I'm going to do the blue of the wings because I don't want to smudge anything. Okay, so the blue, I'm just going to go round. Round we go. It's such an easy process when you do pastels, and I absolutely love pastels. Around we go. Okay, that is it because all you have to do is get your one little finger and smudge it. So you're blending it in and you're leaving the middle bit white because it looks transparent then, it looks see-through and it's got a really cool look about it. Okay, done. Done. You literally do this as a present for someone. Okay, yellow and black. So we want this bit yellow. We want this bit yellow. And we want the bottom yellow, the bottom bit. Now what you can do, we'll smudge it. What you can do is, if you've got a different type of yellow, you can create a darker effect around it, like you've done with the wings. 
we can do it so it looks more um, round, uh, more 3D. Video is getting quite long, I've just realised. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so it's going round. Can you see it? It's a bit darker. It's pretty cool. Then we're going to get our beautiful black. Now we're going to colour in quite carefully, but I'm not because, you know, I haven't got much time. This bit, you're not going to see it much if you don't do it like this. So let's just go around it like we did with the wings, but go around it a bit more, like chunky. And then you're going to go around this like that. But you're leaving all the middly bits, but not too much of it. I'm making any sense. <laughs> just like, go around it, but not. Okay, right, get your little thing on. And then you're going to smudge, because what happens is you can still see there and there but it's black so that's what you want because if you were to just go la 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 all black you can't see the body parts so we are good to go whoa i always like um going over things just like that because it smooths the line down it looks awesome if you wanted to you could sort of get a bit of black and sort of go around here you know you can decide how much you want to put detail in i love making I love making um, bees look hairy, so you could literally just be, like create a couple of, like that, to create the, the wobbly effects. Okay, so now for water. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna try and do this so it's not too messy because you're gonna have it lying flat, so it'll be so much easier for you. But I'm gonna do it whilst it's actually on here, so it's gonna drip, I don't want it to drip too much. Okay, so, <clears throat> what did I just say? Okay, so I'm going to go round some of the parts. That's not a disaster. So it's going to turn green because I've got yellow and blue. And I'm going round. I've never done this on a video before with it up like that, but we'll give it a go. Okay. Right, I'm going to blow this way, which might be challenging. Hang on. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you totally need loads of water. Like, you need a lot of water, but I don't want to do it in case you... I don't know if you can still see from what I'm doing, but ultimately, because of the paper, it's very light. You can't really see it taking effect. But when it's really watery... Oh, man. When it's really watery... I might faint at the end of this, but can you see you're creating a really, it doesn't look that cool at the moment, granted, but if you go around it, it looks really awesome because you're, cre oh God, I can't breathe. you're creating a really cool effect that goes out. I would say watery the better and thick piece of paper is awesome, um, but as you can see, this is quite chunky. And it wouldn't be chunky in your case. It has to be watery. I mean, I'm literally defying gravity here because I'm going up when the painting's standing down like this. Um, so once you've done that, just keep playing around with it. It's really, really fun because you can put like dark blues. You can put lots of different colours. Feeling slightly lightheaded now. Um, but have a bit of fun with it because it's really cool because you can outline the animal as you blow around it. Oh, it's just it needs to be watery and it needs to be sitting down. Ooh. Hope you can see this. Okay, so yes, you get this effect. It's a really cool effect, like it goes all the way around. Can't quite see from it now, but can you see like the blues, the greens? I can actually move it nearer so you can see it. It's got a really cool effect, and if you can imagine that going all the way around, different colours, that would be awesome. So yeah, happy being, <laughs> happy painting. Um, I'm going to be doing January, February, March, April, May, a June one. So let me know what you want me to draw because I'm thinking of maybe something to do with summer holidays. Um, I'd really like to show you the technique of applying thick paint with a palette knife 
I've got a really cool thing actually. What is it? Oh, it's this nice watercolour pen where you it's got water in it and you can actually use it as you squeeze it. So I really want to show you that. So yeah, like and subscribe and share and I will see you very soon when we'll be drawing something really cool. Mwah, lots of love.